So with that kind of side note, let's return to the evaluation of the integrals. So we had that partial n i partial x partial n i partial y is equal to j inverse partial n i partial x partial n i partial eta that should be c and I'm just going to define j inverse as j star So f with that identity, we have that Kij is equal to a hat times j star 1, 1. Well, c hat n hat i n hat j. All of that is going to be multiplied by the determinant, the scalar j, the determinant of the j. Maybe I'll just write that out so to be clear. So the determinant of j, dxc, d eta. And we're going to define the integrand. Well, we'll, we'll define this as the integral of f xc eta dxc d eta. Okay, and I guess I should say that a hat is equal to a of xc and eta. b hat is equal to a of xc eta. c hat is equal to C and eta through the coordinate transformation. And so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to pause here for a second and we're going to learn how uh, a special way to evaluate this integrand. And the special way is we're going to use something called Gauss integration. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>